July the 5th. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's 4th of July was good. Friday, and yeah, I got to go to work. I want people to realize how they're trying to gaslight us now. They are trying to tell us that Donald Trump and Joe Biden are the same. Their ages are the same. That is the biggest lie, and the media is going to start running with it. I hope everybody enjoyed the media going after Joe Biden, media going after Joe Biden like they were and really holding Democrats accountable. That's what the only time you're going to hear that for the next, what, five, six years? Because the American people who didn't know saw Joe Biden. <laughs> now they're trying to tell us that Joe Biden and Donald Trump are the same. These people have no shame and they don't care what we see. How many of y'all saw this from Congressman Wesley and Congressman Donaldson? Here's just half of it from the Steel Show. We have lost seven United States embassies under his presidency. Yes. What does that mean? So we have embassies all over the world yes. in every country. That is essentially sovereign American America territory. Sword. Under his watch, we have had to evacuate seven, seven United States embassies. I did not know that. That has never happened in American history. So we never. Are. That's how weak we That's are. That's how weak we are on the world stage. Well, That's how bad. And, it is. okay, help me. What? Why has that happened? Why are we evacuating? Because there's no protection. There's no I'm a, fear. I'm gonna, say, gonna... Real, I'm gonna say real quick. Go and I'm gonna give it to yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. When you are weak, and our adversaries know you're weak, they push you. It's no different than a, than the bully in the schoolyard. If you're timid and a bully knows he can get away with it, what happens? He comes for your lunch money every single week, yes. every single day. Until you punch back. Until you punch back. We have been weak under Joe Biden. And so our adversaries around the globe, big and small, know that they can push us. But where's the ego? You can talk about Did you hear Brian Donaldson? Did you hear Congressman Donaldson about the embassies we are losing under Joe Biden? How many people knew that? And... You remember they said that Donald Trump gave the Taliban some American secrets. This is why that your truth lie, the your truth lie needs to go. The your truth lie, this is your truth. No, it's only the truth. It's no my truth. Your truth is only the truth. Now, listen to Congressman Wesley tell you what happened. I'll give you my favorite, Trump, my favorite President Trump story. It's my number one favorite of all time. When we were negotiating with the Taliban, while President Trump was still the president, um, President Trump wanted to get out of Afghanistan, but he wanted a conditions-based withdrawal. Mm -hmm. Meaning that you do what we tell you to do, and then we'll start pulling troops back slowly, as long as you abide by our rules. It's President Trump and Mike Pompeo, and they are talking to Taliban leadership in the room, and they had one translator in the room. President Trump looked at the, at the Taliban leader and said this, I want to leave Afghanistan, but it's going to be a conditions-based withdrawal. And translator translated and he said, if you harm a, a hair on a single American, I'm going to kill you. And the translator goes, and Trump goes, tell him, yes. <laughs> tell, him to, 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 tell him what I said. Reached in his pocket, pulled out a satellite photo of the leader, leader of, the, of the Taliban's home and handed it to him. Shut up. Got up and walked out the room. Sure did. Do you know for 18 months not a single American was killed in Afghanistan? Sure did. That's the definition of strength. That's what I'm talking about. And so you could imagine that kind of sentiment being around the world. If we have an embassy in another country, no one's going to touch it because they're going to be fearful that they'll get a Moab on their head. Mm -hmm. That's how President Trump rules. This is the opposite of strength. This is the definition of weakness. And so now we're being feasted upon by other countries when our embassies are there because the Americans aren't going to do anything about it and they don't want us there anyway. But the point of us having an embassy there and the point of us having sovereign American soul is to be able to keep an eye on the world to a certain extent, to have that presence. But you can't have that presence when you have feckless leadership. So the government secret was Donald Trump handed a man his house saying, I will drop a Moab on you. You see? The media, well, that's technically government American secrets. Watching Joy Reid, you know, we already knew MSNBC was not a quote unquote news agency. It was a Democrat shield propaganda. Joy Reid is unhinged, but at least she admitted it. Republicans, Democrats are not our fellow Americans. The same way they want restrictions on the second amendment. We need restrictions on the first amendment 
freedom of the press. Yes, I said it. The same restrictions they have on the Second Amendment, they need restrictions on freedom of the press. Because they have turned the press into what Joseph Goebbels would be jealous. The American press, CNN and MSNBC, Joseph Goebbels would be jealous. 